Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. Today, it's all about the cast iron skillet. Yes, this big old cast iron skillet. But before we get started, I do want to say a lot of people have been telling me they cannot see me on the screen and what I'm doing because it's in vertical form. All you need to do is tap your screen. There's also a little square down in the lower right hand corner. If you tap that, it will expand and you will see everything. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my kitchen. Yes, today is about this cast iron skillet. I have received numerous, numerous <laughs> comments, statements, and emails from people saying, oh, you can use a cast iron skillet on a glass top stove. And I've responded. And I said, yes, but wait, there's a but in that. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're going to head over to the stove in just a few seconds, but before we do, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Now, people have been seeing me over here, right here, and I'm gonna bring you in closer. <laughs> on this solid glass cooktop stove cooking with this heavy cast iron skillet. And they've been watching me use my big cast iron Dutch oven on my glass top stove. And they've been watching me use this griddle cast iron again on my cast on my glass top stove. So, <laughs> Can you do it? Absolutely you can. But there's a but, and there's a huge but. And I wanted to explain that because I don't want anyone having any accidents. I don't want anyone say, she said I can use my cast iron skillet on my glass stove, but wait. <laughs> so I wanted to explain a couple of things that you absolutely must do if you're going to use your cast iron skillets on a solid glass top stove. So let's head to the stove. So the very first thing, the very first thing that you want to do before you use a cast iron skillet on your glass top stove is check with your manufacturer, okay? Check the manual, give them a call, do whatever you gotta do. <laughs> because all glass top stoves are not made equal. Okay, so check with your manufacturer and find out if they say that you can use a cast iron skillet on your stove. Now, if they come back and say, yes, you can use a cast iron skillet on the stove, they'll probably come back and say, provided A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, <laughs> which I'm getting ready to tell you about at least A, B, and C. <laughs> which is kind of general rule for any glass top stove that you are working on. Now, my glass top stove is an induction stove. It is also a smart stove. Um, so mine may have functions that yours does not have. So check it out. Promise me you'll check it out. Okay. Y'all hear me. I'm telling you, check it out. Okay. Enough. So let's go over the don'ts first. Do not use multiple cast iron skillets on your glass top stove. Number one, they won't fit. You see this right here? I got my big cast iron skillet back here. here. This is hanging over. It means it won't fit. And so you might want to put it over here. And that still is not right because this skillet is too large for the back burner. The back burner is a small burner. I don't know if you guys can see the circle, but it's like right here. It's a small, small circle. So do not use your big cast iron skillets on a smaller eye. Keep in mind that if you are cooking and you have oil in your skillet, that means it's going to be heavier, okay? Don't try to be macho and you got this. If you don't have it, you don't have it, okay? 
Enlist the help of someone else in your household if you need to do that. These cast iron skillets are no joke. When they are full of oil, they are hot and they are heavy. And you've got to lift it up and sit it to another eye or a trivet. Don't drag it. Now, if it's full of hot oil, it's full of food. And if it's full of food, that means it's three times as heavy. Now, if you gotta put your lid on it, that lid, this lid within itself is heavy, okay? It's heavy. So, you got your lid on there. Now you have even more weight on there. So you need to make sure that you can handle your skillet. It's no joke and it's nothing to play with. You still have to pick it up like this and move it. Don't drag it. <laughs> Do not drag it. I'm telling you. Now, just starting to cook. You're just getting your everything out. You grab your cast iron skillet. It's not hot yet. So you just got it in your hand, pick it up. You Don't sit this thing down like it's on the counter. You got to be gentle with it. You got to be gentle with it. And that's what makes it so important that once it heats up and you have food in it, and even if you don't have a lot of oil in it, once you get food in it, it's going to become heavy. Okay, I cannot stress that enough. Fortunately, I am blessed that these skillets are not that heavy to me. That's why you see me just picking it up and swinging it around. I lift weights. It ain't that heavy to me, but it may be heavy to someone else. It may be heavy. And if you have a young person, it may be heavy, okay? So I know you must want to use it because I've been getting comment after comment after comment. I said, I better tell these people, it's not like a gas stove where you have the iron, um, Oh, I can't even think of what you call it. The burners that you sit things on because you iron, iron against iron. You can just sit it down with a gas stove. You can just cut that heat and it's off. So you don't have to worry about moving it because it won't still cook. But these cast iron skillets, you need to be attentive to it. And people, now this goes for everybody. Everybody, whether you are using a cast iron skillet a stainless steel skillet, a non-stick Teflon skillet. Whether you have a big skillet like this or an itty bitty tiny skillet like this, okay? Please people, please, when you are cooking, I don't care if you're cooking on low, I don't care if you have oil in it, I don't care if you have water in it, I don't care if it's a pot, whatever it is, please turn your skillet where the handle is to the right or the left. I have seen so many people, even in my own house, my husband is really bad at putting his skillet handle just to the side. Let me show you something. This is what happens when you have your handle to the side. It is so easy to forget or not pay attention. So you go to reach for something and you walk into it. You see that? You walk into it. Okay, now this is hot, heavy, it's the slid on the stove, and it could fall over on you. And whatever is in this skillet, if you only have a, what, two tablespoons of oil in your skillet, it's a hot, heavy skillet, no matter what type of, this little skillet, turn right here like this, I can still bump into it. You see that? You saw it move? I can still bump into it. That is one of the most serious dangers in the kitchen that you can have. Always have your skillet handle going to the right or to the left. Well, that's the right and that's the left, but y'all got y'all y'all got the point, okay? <laughs> And I know I may sound like I'm fussing this morning, and guess what? I am, because safety first, okay? <laughs> I want y'all to be safe. And I have gotten an abundance of questions. People are saying all the time in the comments, oh, you can use cast iron on a glass top stove? As if they getting ready to go run and get their cast iron skillet out and start using it on the glass top stove. And yes, you can use it on a glass top stove, but I need you to be aware of what's going on, especially since you ask me, and, by nature because I use the only skillets I use are cast iron skillets and stainless steel skillets. I want me one of those 
what, what is it, hexaclad, hexclad sets, but that's still in the stainless steel family and ceramic family. Uh, and these are heavy skillets, okay? So you have to learn the proper way to use it. Now I'm gonna tell you one more thing, because <laughs> I don't wanna keep you long. I'm not gonna fuss at you too much longer. I wanna tell you one more thing about safety in the kitchen that has been bothering me to even like do a little short on it, but I think this is the perfect opportunity. So let me go grab what I wanna talk about and I'll be right back. So before I fuss at you all this last little time, please remember to vote for me in the 2023 Favorite Chef competition. I will leave the link in a pinned comment as well as in the description. And I do want to say the thank you so much for all of you all who keep voting for me each and every day. I appreciate it so very much. And for those of you all who have tried and for whatever reason, technical glitch or whatever, you couldn't, thank you so much. And for all those who wanted to, but just weren't able to for whatever reason, thank you so much. And for everyone else, just thank you for always being here for your loyal, faithful support. And that goes double for my channel members, okay? <laughs> so the last thing I wanna say is these, this, this, and this and all the rest that are in sets. This is just a regular chef knife. This is a paring knife. This is a butter knife. And this is a steak knife. But mostly for this and this, the chef's knife and the paring knife. Because I think that most people use these two the most in their kitchen while they're cooking. And so I wanted to say, don't catch a falling knife, okay? It is a reaction. There have been so many times that I was cooking and for whatever reason, I bumped the counter, I did something and my knife went to fall off of my cutting board. And did I go for it? I went for it. But in midair, I caught myself. It's like, it's falling. I'm like, don't catch that knife, let it go. Never reach for a falling knife. Your natural instincts will have you go for it. When something falls and you feel you can catch it, it's a natural instinct. And it takes practice not to do it. It takes remembrance not to do it. It takes thought process not to do it. But it's one of the most dangerous things you can do in a kitchen is to try to catch a falling knife. Because if you try to catch it and that blade hits you and it's falling with a speed or force, it can really cut you and damage your hand. So please do not catch a falling knife. Paring knives are small and you think, oh, my a paring knife, let me catch it. No, let it go. All you need to do is wash it, okay? Ain't nothing gonna happen to that knife. This is a heavy dude. Look at this, okay? Look at this. Ain't nothing gonna happen to this knife. <laughs> nothing, nothing. And even my larger knife over here. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. It doesn't even matter. Even if it's a bread knife. Let it go. <laughs> okay? So, I hope this video clarifies to everyone that has been asking me about cooking with cast iron on your glass top stove. Yes, you can, but when it's not without some guidance and some thought process along the way, okay? You can't just pull it out, put it on there, cook and be done with it. Practice your safety tips when it comes to cooking in all areas. You guys remember when I hurt myself on the, my mandolin, and yes, I'm back to using my mandolin because I like it, but <laughs> I now put on my glove and I use the, I can't think of what you call the thing, but the thing you stick in stuff, I use it all, okay? I don't even go near it without being fully protected. And that's what I want for you guys too. So once again, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. And thank all of you all so much for coming and hanging out here today with me in my kitchen. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Bye-bye.